Okay, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to compute point by serial correlation by hand. Okay, as the uh, it is represented by R P B. P B is the subscript. Okay, so it, to show that it is a point by serial. So let's say that we are interested to examine if gender of the worker is related to their pain experiences. Okay, so these workers has been working in an assembly line or in the factory for many years. So we want to know if being a male or female has anything to do or any relationship or any association with the number of years that they have experienced pain. In other words, um, who is actually, is, that, is if you are being a male or female, do you have a higher number of years of pain when you are working or actually male and female has the same uh, pain experiences. So gender doesn't actually matter when, when you are looking into pain in working, pain um, experienced by the workers. Okay, so what we did what we do is we collected information from ten participants. So these are the scores from the participant, ten participants, and then we gathered. Okay, from ten participants, the M represent male and F represent female. So gender is one variable, and this variable is categorical, nominal, because it is male or female. Then number of years, Y is the pain experience experienced by the workers so that is your y variable and this y is a continuous variable okay because there are equal intervals between them so from 10 to 11 is actually equivalent to 1 so when you have 12 11 and 12 the difference is the same and this is continuous okay this is a continuous variable so what do we do we would like to see if the years of pain that experienced by the worker, will it be different for male and female? So if there is difference, meaning there is a relationship. So if you are being a male, that means you might be, you have to be cautious about your pain when, um, or being alert about your pain when you are being a worker at a factory. So how do you compute this? So we have the participant, we have the gender, and we have the number of years that they experience um, pain. So what is the first step? The first step is to compute the average, the mean for male and the mean for female. Average is actually the arithmetic mean. So the mean for male group and the mean for female group. Meaning when you have two groups, okay, now is gender. So maybe you might have um, yes or no. So yeah, the uh, average for the yes group, average for the no group. So you have to see. Okay, so what is the mean for Y1, which is for the male? What is the mean for Y2? Y2 is actually from the female group. So you have to identify what are the scores for male. So male is 10, 11, 6, 11, and 12. So you take all their values, just the male years of experience that the male of me uh, this is a the years that male experience pain during at their workplace and then divide by five because there are five males so the average is 10 the mean is 10 so you do that same for the female so the females years of uh, pain experiences you have to identify where is the female so female four three two two and one so when you add all this, divide by 5, you get 2.4. Next step is compute the proportion of male and the proportion of female in your data. So out of 10 participants, how many are males? So you count 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 males. Okay, so the P is the proportion of males. So 5 over 10 goes to 0 0.5. So the Q is the proportion for the female. So you can take 1 minus P, you already know 0 0.5. So the proportion always have to add to 1. So if you take 1 minus the proportion of male, you get 0 0.5. Or the other way around is you can count it. So how many female do you have? You have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 5 
divide by 10 total participant you get 0 0.5 so you basically have equal female and male participants so once you have all this information you can compute into uh, sorry once you have this next step is compute the standard deviation so standard deviation for the y variable for the continuous variable remember standard variation we want to know the distribution of the scores so which one and we cannot do that for nominal variable we can only compute a standard deviation for continuous variable and this is the outcome variable okay so how do you compute that so the sum of y squared minus the sum of y squared divided by n entire value divided by n and take the square root of it okay for that you need to firstly square the y so these are the y's right these are the y so we square them so 10 square it becomes 100 11 square it we become 1 to 1 6 square it becomes 36 okay so we do that for until the last participant then what you do is we need to add them up so the sum of y squared will be 5 5 6 and then the sum of y so you add all the y becomes 62 so the 62 we square it and divide by 10 an entire thing is divided by 10 when you take the square root of it you get 4.37 so once you have the mean for two groups proportion for the two groups and the standard deviation you can use all the information and compute the correlation coefficient for point by serial so what is the formula for it so the mean 1 minus mean 2 multiply by square root of proportion group 1 and proportion of group 2 and the entire information being divided by standard deviation of y we have already found all this information mean of male is 10 mean of female is 2.4 standard deviation is 4.37 proportion for male is 0 0.5 proportion of female is 0 0.5 so when you put all this information when you solve this equation you get point by serials correlation coefficient of 0.87 so remember we need to test whether it is a significant relationship or not so how do we do that we have to move on to the fifth step of hypothesis testing so we convert these r into a t score so how using a formula so r pb divided by square root of 1 minus r squared point by serial divided by n minus 2 so we know that our point by serial is 0 0.87 when you square it it gets 0 0.76 and number of participants was 10 so when you solve this information uh, or this uh, this formula you get 5.11 which is your t statistic so what what's the next step so the sixth step is find t critical so what is t critical you need to have three information to identify one is the alpha value the tail and also degrees of freedom so in this case we are using alpha 0.05 since our null hypothesis is there is no significant relationship we use two tail as i mentioned before if you have a direction in your hypothesis then you use one tail degrees of freedom is n minus 2 you have 10 participant minus 2 you get 8 so using these information two tail 8 degrees of freedom and 0 0.05 you get 2.31 as your t critical next you have to make decision we compare t stats to t critical t stat we calculated just now was 5.11 is greater than 2.31 the t critical meaning we reject the null what do you mean by when you reject the null we say there is a significant positive relationship between gender of workers and number of years they experience pain at work so what do you mean by that okay basically why do we say there is a positive relationship because if you remember our correlation coefficient was 0 0.87 and there is a there is no negative in it so it is a positive so what we are trying to say is since male has higher mean 
male have been experiencing pain more at the workplace compared to the female. So there is an association, there is a relationship between gender and the number of years that they experience pain at the workplace. And it was found out that based on the mean that we got, we can identify that male has been having higher pain experiences compared to female. So hope it was clear. Thank you.